Hey Adam here with a simple and fast review of a digital shipping scale from ThinkScale. This is uh, meant to hold up to like 440 pounds, which is uh, just absolutely a massive amount of uh, weight that it can handle. So we're going to open it up. We're going to demonstrate it with nowhere near 440 pounds, but uh, we are going to demonstrate it and then of course let you know whether or not it's worth buying. All right, so getting this open, uh, you'll first find your readout. course scale we've got some batteries that it comes with Looks like a uh, charger USB and of course the scale and the instructions looks like one more piece that I didn't get to just yet yep is the uh, USB brick So always make sure you read your instructions, shows you how to install battery, operate, all that stuff. Very solid, um, looks like it's made almost like for con like a manufacturing facility, so this looks like it's going to be a commercial grade for sure. So. We're gonna go get, go ahead and get the uh, battery in and uh, connect anything else that needs to be connected here. All right, before I continue much further, uh, the two AAA batteries are gonna go into the back of this um, right there. And then I just wanna point out that they give you an uh, ability to kinda, um, they provide the screws uh, and allow you to mount this, if you will, um, so that you can uh, then, I guess place this up on a wall if needed. So um, that way you're constantly, you know, imagine that it was up against a wall here. Uh, you can keep it eye level or wherever you need to do so you don't have to have this constantly moving. Um, so it gives you flexibility on that, that feature. All right, so just gonna cover a couple things. So first of all, you can also uh, plug, or, uh, plug this in like so for power. And again, just have, uh, have that operating that way. So I'm gonna kind of make sure we can see this. Um, again, it's just a simple plug-in capability. But uh, I wanna go over a couple things. So first of all, your power is just gonna be a power button. Uh, your mode is gonna take you between kilograms, pounds, and pounds and ounces. Uh, a neat little feature uh, we'll go over in a second is uh, the hold feature. But uh, tear is just gonna be simply as a, um, a reset so let me just show you throwing something on there if I want to reset to zero uh, while that's on there now it's going to be balanced to zero so once I take that off it's actually going to take take away so uh, we're just going to once again hit care that's going to balance me out another cool feature is holding down hold once we see that button blinking we can put this on there and then once we remove it it will continue to show the, uh, the weight that you had until you go ahead and uh, hit that hold button again. So that way uh, it doesn't automatically, um, without that, you take it off, it's gonna automatically reset. And uh, again, just wanna show you uh, exactly how pretty you know, precise this is. So got a 30 pound weight. Now, part of this feature is that um, it's got a good space, uh, a big amount of space here. Um, but I just wanna show you that we're exactly at 30 here. And that's exactly what it's set at. So um, really does a nice job, pretty uh, pretty precise. And again, the modes are gonna show me 13.6 kilograms, 30 pounds even, maybe, oh, we're slightly over. Um, it might just be because I'm, I'm putting that on there. Um, but the point being that uh, if you are unbalanced, it will obviously uh, kind of throw things off. So. Um, you'll want to make sure that you follow some of the descriptions on the back here. It walks you through all the stuff, um, but also these kind of move around a little bit. Um, so just be careful that you're on a good, clean surface, flat surface when you're doing your measuring. Um, and again, um, pretty great value here. Uh, very precise and uh, can handle 440 pounds. That's like three of me. So um, that is uh, that is really pretty uh, pretty impressive. So um, total totally great value, definitely worth buying, and hopefully this review helped.